Yeah, here's my Y pipe. Just uh, sandblasted a little bit, doing the manifold a little bit here, sandblasting it. Um, you know, it was already cleaned off in vinegar, but you know, it gets a light coat of rust after vinegar dries, right? So, pretty damn clean, not bad. Um, you know, here's an air compressor. Um, just a little $20 sandblaster. As long as you keep the hose real short, the intake hose real short, sometimes you might have to pull the trigger like this, maybe not just go just hit it in spurts. Keeps it from the sand from clogging up. Does a fairly good job for small for small parts. It works pretty damn good. Um, so we're gonna be getting a pour 15 on here. You see, like, you know, it's and the other side of the other manifold. I, I'm probably just gonna wire brush it, clean it off, and because um, this doesn't really matter. I'm really worried about that Y pipe because that Y pipe. I don't know where you buy it anymore. You know, I would buy a new one if I never saw any part anywhere after hours of looking where that part is replaced so you know when that pipe goes and it can't be fixed um, it's going to be dual exhaust and uh, that means I have to put a double hump cross member in there for the transmission which is a couple hundred bucks and two catalytic converters um, so you're talking like twelve hundred dollars so yeah I think I'm going to use some poor 15 on this stuff it'll probably last I don't know probably 20 years so who gives a damn right that's good enough anyway so poor 50 we're gonna hang these up um, off a tree someplace and start brushing poor 15 on them poor 15 high heat high heat in other words it has to be treated under temperature 300 degrees for about 15 minutes and cool down usually you could just um, uh, what do you call it start the engine up and that's enough heat to do the job so anyway Good enough. Well, I guess I got charcoal gray or something, or flat black versus uh, aluminum. I don't know what the hell color I ordered, but <laughs> it's on there. So, you know, I have it hanging up with some wire. See that? And uh, also got inside the pipe a little bit right here. Got to do that little bit end right there. And what it did was on the other manifold, I didn't prep it or nothing. I just painted it because I didn't feel like unbolting it. You know, it's a power steering pump goes through there and stuff. I said, you know, I could do it, but I said, dad, hell with it. I'm just curious to see if you paint this crap over rust. You know, because it does say P-O-R, paint over rust. With the exhaust manifolds, though, you're supposed to sandblast them, chemically clean them, and all that garbage. Well, let's see what happens if I just paint over rust on the other manifold if it lasts. Let's see if that happens, you know, if it lasts in the future. But, um, you know... Just go over, you just got to do the end over here and um, maybe give it another coat and uh, um, I'm going to go over some of the other exhaust, even though the rest of the exhaust is pretty new. If I see a spot of rust, it's going to get uh, coated this junk over it. 